Good evening, right. friends. I am going to talk about uh, how to do the open reduction internal fixation for the scaphoid fracture non-unius. This is a patient uh, which has a west scaphoid fracture non-union, which is almost three-year-old injury. You can see very clearly see the pseudoarthrosis developing and very clear cut sclerosis joint, uh, pseudoarthrotic joint line. So how to do the surgery? What are the steps involved? What are the precaution you need to take? And how should we proceed with the rehabilitation program? Let me show you the video. The incision is centered over the scaphoid tuberosity, then traverse distally obliquely towards the hypothesis, towards the thinner eminence and proximally towards the radial side of the FCR. You gently dissect it, you cauterize the superficial branch of the radial artery, retract the flexor carpi radialis unnerved, palpate the scaphoid tuberosity and then you open the wrist joint capsule. Reflect the capsule towards the ulnar and radial side. You will directly see the fracture site. Use the small three uh, sorry, spike to retract the capsule and now you can see this one is the non-union site visible over here. See the mobility at the fracture site by putting a free air elevator. It is a scaphoid mobile pseudo-orthotic non-union. You confirm it by the C arm. In a close-up view, this is the clear-cut fracture, uh, non-union fracture site. Now you need a good sharp osteotome to excise the non-union site in a trapezoid manner. The osteotome is not good, hence we have to change the osteotome which can give a clear cut. A sufficient uh, end of the non-union should be excised so that you get a good normal looking and bleeding bones. Now put the laminar distractor distract the fracture somewhat and this will use as a measuring guide about the size of the bone graft you need. This is approximately 10 8 millimeter of the bone graft size is required. Then you check the depth of the bone graft you require. Once your dimensions are there, take out the elite crest bone graft. Meanwhile, you clear the end of the scaphoid non-union with the bar to make additional holes or different little bit of a roughening at the fracture site. Sometimes easily available ETO, ETO uh, carpenter drills are very good for this thing. Now you measure the exact size of the uh, bone graft you required, you cut into the shape, put at the non-union site, constantly monitor the thing under the CM, take a punch, put a small, do a, some gentle hammering, and the bone graft should be snugly fit.
and it should remain in its position stably once the position of bone graft is confirmed under the cm put a guide wire from the pole distal pole of the scaphoid in a central location towards the proximal pole once the adequate central position of the guide wire is confirmed put another guide wire as a d rotation guide wire and that can be used as a additional k wire to remain in place for few few more months use a drill bit cannulated drill bit to drill across the fractured side over the guide wire and then measure the screw length and pass a screw headless compression screw with the outer thread of the screw engage with the screw driver then put a inner engaging thread inner thread engaging screw driver and compress uh, and uh, tighten the remaining threads of the screw which are out lying outside the bone and then check it under the cm the screw should be exactly under central location additional k wire should be cut flush after bending and you do a gentle uh, uh, sorry tourniquet is released capsule is closed and the skin closure was done this is approximately 6 month follow up the patient is ready for the additional k wire removal although there is some early changes of the uh, snack wrist but there is no pain so in case the pain appears you may need a scaphoid sorry you may need the radial uh, steroid excision thank you very much mm-hmm.